Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are opening up the silage pit to feed the boys. Feed the bulls that we put in the last day. They're quite literally, this pen is pretty much out here, the other pen has a little bit left. And we're putting them onto their silage now, so we'll go open up the pit and see what it is like. After that then I'll be getting live and we'll be going moving the pigs. So that's also in today's video, uh, just to stretch it out a bit. Because there's not a lot in opening a pit of silage and taking four grabs out of it, but anyways. So we're with the bulls. Now the reason for the hay, I asked Father Phil and Uncle, the reason for the hay was to dry up the cattle's dung. Because when they come off grass, and while they're on grass, especially the lush kind of grass that we were having them on, their dung was quite runny. And when the dung is runny, it, the cattle tend to get quite dirty very quickly when they're in. It's always the biggest battle when you have cattle in sheds, is trying to keep them clean. Unfortunately, even though like we provide them with a toilet, to have bedding and to have a toilet the slats is as good as a toilet as you can provide for an animal but they'll still shift where they want to sleep and you're just always trying to work your way around that trying to keep them as clean as possible the brush was a big help last year but anyway we have to take a lock of tires off the pit cut the polythene open and get the shear grab on and service the shear grab grease it sharpen it i have all my tools so we get to it. It's a Sunday as well, so it just means I have a bit of time to do these jobs. It's what me and Liv do on a Sunday, is look after all the other livestock we have and try and get a few odd jobs done on the farm and try and chill for an hour or two in the middle of it all. So yeah, it's, it's crazy times. But here's, here's Bertie. Hey Bertie, how's Bertie? Good boy. So yeah, we get to it. So that's the tires off. So we'll strip it along and across and kind of just I might just like pull it to there and then just fold back that till there's more to cut off because the few cattle that's in there what they're going to eat isn't gonna be a lot. So put in your comments below what do you think your predictions is you seen how we caught it? It was very fresh wouldn't have called it the nicest silage we've ever made i'm not this area here is where we went up and down with the tires so i am kind of expecting a bit of spoil i'm not expecting it to be the best i'd expect now over there to be better but this is just we always open the pit from this side because it kind of opens up the yard as we eat in this way it gives us more space for turning and that as you come into the yard and the whole crop is under this side and we need to be getting the bulls built up onto whole crop as part of building them up onto the finishing ration. That's why we open this side and not the other side. The moment of truth. Let's call it. And also, as you can see, I have a great weapon here. Bill Hook Machete. First knife I found. But anyways, let's, let's do it. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is looking very, very nice. Now, go up my climbing frame. Without falling. It's quite soft underfoot here, so I don't know what that's going to mean. So oh. that's it open. Now get down out here without falling. Peel it back. Interesting. I'll be careful of my tail now that I don't catch that taking out silage. So now that is what it's like here. I'm actually kind of surprised now that that does look very, very nice. Smells smells all right. It doesn't smell over hectic. You can I can feel it is very moist. It smells all right. I wouldn't say it's the sweetest smell I've ever smelled, but now you can see a bit of waste where it's like when we were taking the ramp out, it kind of undermined it, and then that's a bit of whole crop that must have just got shoved up on a it's whole crop wheat. So yeah. Doesn't seem too bad at all. I'm actually quite surprised. I'm actually very surprised here. I, I didn't think it had I kept this well. So anyways, we'll get the shear grab on and then we'll get it serviced. I will take four bites out of it and bring it around to the bulls and see what they think.
of many, 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 many bikes out of the pit. See what comes out there. I'm surprised at how loose it is just at that point there it could be just where the last of us put up and it uh, didn't get rolled but this is in into the pit now it must be at least about a month ago since we caught it maybe a bit more it is quite soft uh, it smells better in there now there's a lot it's a lot sweeter smell in there and yeah that's it it's the first grab out of the pit of thousands how like uh, god only knows how many grabs is to come out at but it all comes out of it with that yoke there oh man there is a lot of grabs in that pit anyways we get these cattle fed Well, lads, what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? No, you don't have thumbs. Seems to be a bit of an interest in it, so we'll time lapse and get another three grabs down here, grab per bay, and yeah, starts the feeding of the shear grabbing. Oh man, the year doesn't belong going round. That is one thing for sure. So it seems like the older you get, <laughs> the quicker it goes round. Anyways, we'll go get these lads. Right? A new adventure On a new adventure So what do you think of the silage? happy with that it's, it's, it's has a lovely, there's a lovely smell to it lovely and like for, for what it was that we cut and color it was a bit stemmy but um i caught fresh and everything surprisingly good now and like it kept like you you look at the, the face of it oh, there yeah, no, like no, no, it's, it's that's where your agri king powder really worked very well there now yeah yeah it worked very well there now well, i was it happy with now good silage better yeah mm. that's the silage in front of them so i put five grabs in Kinda got hard to fill the bucket the first three times. Just the face of it seemed very loose. But I'm very surprised at how well the face of it has kept. Like just was not expecting it to, to keep so well. But I think we can agree the boys are quite happy to get silage. Because they were pretty much all lying down. Now every one of them is standing up looking to get a bit. So this is some of the last stuff to come out so it is a bit of a block in or that. It's it's great, great color, great smell. No, I'm happy with how that turned out. Now I'm very happy with how the the face kept much better than other years. That's the pit opened, so now we start working through that. And as I said before, all of that comes out of a five foot shear grab on a five twenty dash fifty teleporter and into a Keenan Classic eighty, which is like this. I think is like the smallest diet feeder Keenan make. Oh man, we need to get a bigger diet feeder, a bigger teleporter, and a bigger shear bucket to try and speed up feeding all the cattle. But look, okay, it does what it needs to do for us. Next thing that we need to get done to be stepping them on, we are feeding them barely at the minute, just throw a couple of bags in front of them. It's not ideal because only the bulls that are up and at the barrier will get the barley. They're, generally, there's none left for the next lad. And that's why the diet feeder is the next move for us because we need to be putting in that barley and mixing it in with the silage so that no matter what animal is at the barrier every mouthful any animal in in the shed eats it's all the same every mouthful is the very same as the last for every animal and that's why tmr total mixed ration 
is that's why how we feed the cattle it's the only way to do it have to get the day feeder in get it serviced we have a little bit of a job to do now it didn't finish the season last year in um had a few gremlins we've got to get them gremlins sorted the teleporter as well is going to be going in for servicing because before we put too many more cattle in we need to get it in and get it sorted put back on the bonnets the door breeze are up servicer change dial do a few seals few different little things nothing really major but one other thing i'd love to do i don't know whether we'll do it or not but i'd love to put third service on the massey 50 and make up an adapter bracket i could put that on the massey 50 if we're ever stuck because you always need backup and the backup when that's broke at the minute is either borrow a shear grab on the 6480 which i don't really like or the Massey 50. I just love driving the Massey 50. That's why I use it when, I, when that when that breaks. But anyways, look at that is that's it. That's the bulls fed. So now we go get Liv and we go to the pigs because she's waiting for me to go do that so we can get that done. But anyways, yeah, happy bulls. Oh, it all started. Oh, just the year does not be long going around. But anyways, we get Liv, and we get to it. So we're down here now with the pigs. We'll get ready to move them. So, we're going to try and get them shot into the pig arc. The plan is not to move the pig arc. And we have poultry netting. And we're going to put it up and move them up kind of that way without moving that. But the reason we're moving them is, you can see yourself, they have it all turned, tossed. And it got a little bit mucky there after the bit of rain we had. So, we just feel like giving them a new fresh bit of ground go do them no harm tie it up look at them they're, they are as happy as larry so they're in there and it's amazing how the straw for all the muck that well when i say muck how like clay and dirty it is outside how the straw is like perfectly clean inside <laughs> so anyways so yeah we try and figure out what we're going to do we have to move the drinker back that way we have to move our tipsy bin out of the way. We have to move our solar fencer. Now the reason we're going with the poultry net next is because we have had a few issues where they've gone through the strands of wire twice. And we're afraid that to give them more space, we don't have enough sheep gates to put around them. So the poultry net, we think they can't go through it unless they like literally ball it down, which I think is going to be hard done, but that's the plan anyways. So we're going to, to down the fence we have up at the minute. We'll have to move our sheep gates and then set up our poultry netting. And I think we're 50 meters and 50 meters of poultry netting is going to give them quite a big chunk. I don't think they've realized it's just how big it's going to give them. We'll get to it and we'll get the piggies moved. So wire down. Now we're debating about our fence, which is here. It is, I, isn't it a meter and a half? Or is it a meter? Yeah, it's a meter fence. Or 1.25 maybe. Something, it's, it's over a meter anyways. It's a meter or a bit over a meter. But it's too high to step across. And also, it's electrified all the way up to the top. The bottom one isn't. So it can be on the ground. It doesn't matter too much. But um, the dilemma now is, you put it up, how do you get in and out? You don't really want to be trying to lift a fence post in and out at the end every time. It's a bit awkward. So I'm thinking, I didn't say it to you, but I'm thinking if we moved the sheep gate and brought it up from the side up to here. Yeah, you could get in that way. Yeah, and then put the electric fence then the rest of it. It would it could be a little bit awkward trying to move these, but it had make use of them and I think. I think it's anchor it too, too. Yeah. Right, we get to it. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. They're not very happy there, so they're not. They're on protest, so they're making an awful racket. Aren't she, girls? Aren't she? Aren't she? Aren't she? I'm gonna stop now. But anyways, nearly there. Nearly there. Just put up the chicken wire now. Chicken. Poultry netting.
Do you have it? Yeah. That, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's... It's like folded <laughs> rather. <laughs> it's folded rather than rolled. Oh, these are clipped together. That's what it is. So, how the fuck do we do this? We're going to roll that. Right. Lay it down. Lay it flat. It'll get tangled in everything. But look, here's the first one. So that's the first one? Yeah. So, so here's now. your next one. You may pull the weeds out as well as you're going. Not listening to me, are you? No. Should have trimmed this, Liv. Liv's going to get into an awful mess. Nothing like doing things arseways around here. Should have trimmed the place before we dip out the raw net, but sure. It's done now. So, first job is cable tie this to that. So live is after, you might just see red insulation tape. You missed one, Liv. I missed one. Put red insulation tape around the wires so that it shouldn't short to this. That's the plan. Liv might get surprised when she throws her leg across it some morning. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hear the end of it then. Right, hold it up there. Shouldn't pull. Tool do it. I go lower down for that. I put one in the middle there, so it's pulling in the middle and one at the bottom. His trimming just simplified it. Why didn't we trim it before we started trying to pull it out? Because we're stupid. Oh. We'll know for next time though. Yes, we do know for the next time. But this will do them a while. This will do them quite some time. This is, must be like nearly three times the size yeah. of what we get from the first day. So, we have it all set up now. I'm telling you, I should have done that trimming the first first thing because it just makes it so much easier putting it out. So, solar fencer is where it needs to be. So, insulation tape, drive down that. It doesn't really drive, it's, 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 it's the best earth rod I've ever seen. Once so I don't hit a rock, earth rod on, the power into that laddie there. Into that? Yep. You're going to get shot. It's not no, on. It's <laughs> and then flick it. We'll just do a quick test, see that there's power in it all. So it's a great job, so it is. So now we'll have to see how the pigs like it. But where do these pigs came from? This is how the setup was. It was using poultry netting. So we have a tie back there. I have a Pigtail keeping a pull tight there. So Liv has that little beeping yoke. Someone asked what is it? it? To be honest, I'm not really sure. It's like a, an electro it's like current, I think. magnet. It just picks up the current, but yeah. The further away it is from it, the more power you have. So is there any power in this now? So if there's power in this, we're in bother. Keep going. No, that's good. That's good. Oh yeah. And then unfortunately it just goes behind the pig arc. We we'll have it tied back. Hopefully it doesn't touch it. If it touches it, we'll be in trouble. But no, that's happy out. So yeah, we'll just turn it off and we'll get the drinker pulled back out and pull the pipe out because we don't want them chewing on the pipe or getting at the fish. So there's the drinker set up now. So we have a big loop of it there so we can move the drinker where we need it. Release the hound. Well, release the pigs. Oh, girls, out you go. They look a bit confused. 
Yeah, but they've they've a lot of foraging and rooting to do there now. Rooting in grass. <laughs> Eating docks. Do you know what the bag sounds like? That's the pigs, that's them moved. I leave Liv here with a camera so she can do her thing. I go on about a few other jobs, but we Well, we leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That is it from us and the pigs and the bulls. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Piggies, good luck.